Hey guys, Nacho here, and today we're going to be going over Secret Room 7 on Rotation 3. Uh, this one is super hard, it's a rare HP room. Um, however, we've actually gotten a couple rares that are insanely good at this room. Okay, so uh, Meat Cleaver Tolog and what's his name? Castigator are two of the biggest ones that I love to bring into this room now. Uh, Ironclad uh, is uh, kind of not so great. In the example that I have here, I would definitely prefer uh, a second pain keeper in Toxic or something like that. Just this dude did like next to no damage with this team because we're not bringing enough excess heals. Um, the continuous heals just didn't count for the splash damage. So he just, I put my Taurus's gear on this dude and it took forever, but it was uh, under turn limit. So we just kept it. Um, this room is extremely difficult for a lot of people just because of the amount of CC that it requires. However, Gnarlhorn is basically all that you need. Nullhorn in about a 250 speed regen or bolster set uh, really keeps him alive plenty. And then the Meat Cleaver Tolog brings a ton of healing. Uh, the Castigator HP balances as well. So you can uh, you can actually get through this pretty easy with those as far as survivability goes. And then the Pain Keeper also brings heals. So basically all you need to do is bring enough damage to make your way through the waves. And we go extremely slow. I think this, this took me like 20 minutes to do. Um, we were doing it on the stream. So this is this footage is from after that. And I'm just talking over it so I can speed it up a little bit and things of that nature. But yeah, we just make our way through here nice and slow, as you can see. One enemy at a time. And I did set up a preset for this one just so that Gnarlhorn, Gnarlhorn would pr always uh, prioritize his provoke if he had it up. That was about it, really. And then the rest of it is just kind of chilling. To be honest, it was uh, not even really close. The Meek Cleaver Tolog is just an amazing support for this room. If you have not built him, I would highly, highly recommend it. The same with the Castigator. The HP balance on the Castigator was amazing, especially when everybody's provoked and then he, you could just, he just HP balances from the Tolog, who's full HP uh, the whole time. And the Narhorn just stays topped up and anybody else that you have, sit, have stays topped up. Even if you're trying to use like a ironclad strategy, I think uh castigator can be really strong here just because it can keep him full HP and he needs to do excess heals. So really, really strong option for this. Most people really have a hard time just staying alive through a lot of these rare rooms. So big big up to these two. And 20 minutes later we made it there. So this is my Iron Twins Pain Keeper. No masteries required for most secret rooms. Uh, I literally put my Taurus's set on this ironclad and he was just useless. Just use another pain keeper in a toxic set or something, and uh, that's all you need. Narhorn was 260 in a bolster set. No masteries required whatsoever. Me cleaver, no masteries. He's in a regen set, so he stays topped up, and I just got him as much HP as I could find. And then Castigator, again, just about 250 speed, um, as, as much HP as I could find. And a bolster set, no masteries. So I hope this was helpful, guys. Have a good one.